It's review of the week time again, guys. First one for 2024. To start off, volume 14, we're gonna talk about Mr. Villain's Day Off, episode 1. So, keep on watching, subscribe to this channel, and of course, hit like. So, let's get into the deep dark. Face! Multi-story format siya. Then, uh, pero, I gotta complain, guys. I mean, uh, it's a bitchy complaint. Although it is a slice of life, it's a slice of life anime, para I found the pacing too, uh, too slow for its own good. Parang ganun eh. Although there were tense moments in, uh, in each, uh, in each uh, story. There, were, uh, uh, there was one tense moment each. And I'll complain ko guys. It was too slow for its own good. Yung, uh, yung overall pacing ng pilot. I, I totally understand. It is a slice of life anime. Pero, even for a slice of life anime, it's too slow. Low naman. First gear shift. Well, biggest gear shift of the first story was when Mr. Villan, we'll, we'll temporarily call him Mr. Villan. Kasi, hindi pa niya na-reveal yung tunay niyang pangalan dito eh. So, Mr. Villan is, gets spotted by, uh, by his arch nemesis, the Red Ranger. Well, no brain of a gear shift there, folks. Kasi, dito talaga, nagkaroon ng, um, probably the, probably the tensest moment in, in the entire pilot. Kasi, nagkita yung, Baga, leader ng dalawang faction eh. I'm happy that there are, that there's a gear shift like this. Para, hindi siya, para hindi siya total waste of time, yung, para hindi total waste of time yung, yung overall pacing ng pilot. Biggest gear shift of the second story was when Mr. Villan got oh, triggered when his favorite dessert wasn't available anymore. If there's anything this gear shift will tell you, it's this. Villains always have their trigger moments. Alright? So, don't be surprised. Kasi, well, they don't, we, we don't call him Mr. Villain on uh, uh, for nothing. Final gear shift. Biggest gear shift of the third story. Was when the Red Ranger gave him a, a, a thank you gift. And for helping him up to, for helping, for helping him out to, uh, to get home. If there's anything this gear shift will tell you more, it's this. Panda! Pandas are this villain's weakness. So these three gear shifts that I saw, guys. <clears throat> yeah. I rarely say this, pero with the... Um, uh, with the pace, with the... Um, with the... But the somewhat unacceptable pacing this this pilot has, it's okay to just judge your judge the episode, judge this pilot with, those, with just those three gear shifts. Okay, lang, right? I won't get mad at you. Plot wise, what is it? Plagado ang plot, guys. Natural. Multi-story format. Tatlong istorya. You just can't call this a clean plot. Alright? Pero, um, if, if there's any, um, if there's any bright spot on this, on, on this, um, on this pilot, it's this. <clears throat> meron siyang, meron siyang sense of continuity. Kumbaga, you would instantly, you would instantly um, uh, discern that this villain is taking a long vacation kasi mukhang magkakasunod na araw nangyari to eh. Lalo, well, the biggest indication here was was the third gear shift, actually. Nung, uh, nung sinabi ng Red Ranger na, thank you for helping me out the other day. Doon pala magtaka na kayo. Doon pala makala, ma Ah, uh, mahalatahan niyo na that the that the three stories happened in successive days. So, you can safely assume now that Mr. Villain is taking a long vacation. Hindi lang hindi lang isang araw, hindi lang isang araw 'to. Okay? So overall, it's um 
but it's a well ironed out plot. Okay, I gotta give credit for that. So face flow and plot, yeah, all came together. But pero my biggest complaint is the pacing. It's again, it's uh, it's too slow for its own good. Okay, for a slice of it, it's slow even for a slice of life anime. So, Mr. Villain's Day Off, Episode 1.